Hello everyone, you are welcome to Mass Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this interesting simplification math problem, which is a raised to power 7 minus a raised to power 6. So how can we find out this math problem and find out this value without using a calculator? So what we'll do here? Here first of all, we will change these two bases, this a to its exponential form. So we can write it as 2 cube or 2 raised to power 3. So this will become 8 is 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 7 minus 8 is 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 6. Now here in both the terms we will use an exponential math property a raised to power m or raised to power m. So here in both the terms we will use this exponential identity a raised to power m or raised to power n can also be written as a raised to power m times n. Now using this exponential identity here, both the terms of this equation will become implies. Here we will write the base and we will multiply the power. So this will become 2 raised to power 3 times 7 minus and this will become 2 raised to power 3 times 6. Then let's multiply the powers with each other. So this will become here the first power will become implies 2 raised to power 3 times 7 is simply 21 minus 2 raised to power 3 times 6 is 18. Now what we will do here? Here we will change these two powers to the sum of other two numbers. So here we can write this power 21 as the sum of 10 plus 11 minus 2 raised to power and here we can write this 18 as the sum of 8 plus 10. Now here in both the terms again we will use an exponential identity. A raised to power m plus n identity. So here we will use this one identity. We can write a raised to power m plus n as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Now using this identity here, this equation will become implies this will become 2 raised to power 10 times 2 raised to power 11 minus this will become 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 10. Now here we will try to find out the value of each number. So here first we will try to find the value of 2 raised to power 8, then the value of 2 raised to power 10 and last 2 raised to power 11. So therefore the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 2 raised to power 8 means we need to multiply this base 2 8 times. So let's multiply this 8 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, 128 times 2 is 256. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So multiplying 2, 8 times, it gives him 256. So the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256. And if we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 10. So we can write this 2 raised to power 10 as, 10 can be written as the sum of 8 plus 2. Now here we will use this one exponential math property. And we will split these two powers over 2. So this will become 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 2. Now here we have the value of 2 raised to power 8 which is 256. So this will become 256 times and here the value of 2 raised to power 2 is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. Now here we multiply these two numbers. So here 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 2 will be carried. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. So 2 2 will be carried. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. So here the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024. Now we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 11. So therefore we can write 2 raised to power 11 as, this can be written as 2 raised to power 10 plus 1. We're using above exponential identity, this will become 2 raised to power 10 times 2 raised to power 1 or simply 2. Now here we have the value of 2 raised to power 10, that is 1024 so 1024 times 2 
Now again, multiply these two numbers so here. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 0 is 0. And 2 times 1 is 2. So the value of 2 raised to the power 11 is 2048. Now here in this equation, we will replace 2 raised to the power 10, 2 raised to the power 8, and 2 raised to the power 11 with its values from here. So this will become implies the value of 2 raised to the power 10 is 1024 times the value of 2 raised to the power 11 is 2048 braces close minus no. The value of 2 raised to the power 8 is 256 times and the value of 2 raised to the power 10 is again 1024. Now what we will do here? Can we multiply these numbers with a calculator or standard multiplication? No. Here we will not multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and standard multiplication. So what we will do here? Here we will use a simple track that can be easily used and multiply these numbers without using a calculator and standard multiplication. So let's learn this trick. How can we multiply these numbers? So first we multiply these two numbers. So this will become press is open. So we will write the first number as the same 1024 times and here we can write this number as the sum of three numbers 2000 plus 40 plus a. Now combining these three numbers it gives him 248 braces close minus. Now the same we will do here. Here we will leave this first number as the same 256 will be the same times and we will change this 1024 to the sum of three numbers 1000 plus 20 plus 4. Braces close. Now here first we multiply this 1024 with these three numbers and then we multiply this multiplication. So let's multiply 1024 with these numbers. So here first we multiply this number with 2000. So this will become 1024 times 0 is 0, 1024 times 0 is 0, 1024 times 0 is 0 and 1024 times 2 is 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 0 is 0 and 2 times 1 is 2. So this gives him 2,048,000 plus we multiply 1024 with 40. So 1024 times 0 is 0 and 1024 times 4 is 4 times 4 is 16, 6 one will be carried. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 4 is 4. So this gives him 40,960 plus, we will multiply 1024 with 8. So this will become 8 times 4 is 32, so 2, 3 will be carried, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19, so 9, 1 will be carried, no, 8 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 8 times 1 is Add. So this goes same at 1192. Braces close. Then we multiply these numbers with each other. So how can we multiply these numbers? Here first we multiply 2056 with 1000, then with 20, and then with 4. So we will do this multiplication here. Minus braces often. Now 256 times 0 is 0. 256 times 0 is 0. 256 times 0 is 0. And 256 times 1 is 256. So this will become 256,000 plus. Now we multiply 256 with 20. So 256 times 0 is 0. And 256 times 2 is 512. So this will become 215. So this gives same 5120 plus. We multiply 256 with 4. So this will become here. 4 times 6 is 24. So 4, 2 will be carried, 4 times 5 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22, 2, 1 will be carried, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. So this will become 1024. Braces close. Now what we will do here? Here first we will add these three numbers and then these three numbers. And then last we will subtract this result from this one number. So from here we will get our answer. So let's do this subtraction. So first we will add these three numbers. So we will start from the ones position. So 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 plus 0 is 15. So 5 one will be carried to this number. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 0 is 11. So this will become 1. 1 will be carried to this number. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 0 is 9. 9 plus 8 is 17. So 7 
one will be carried to this number. Now 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 0 and 2. So here the addition of these three numbers gives him 2,097,152 minus now we'll add these three numbers. So again we'll start from the worst position. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 4, not 2. So this will become 4. No, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, comma. No, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So 2, 1 will be carried to the next digit. 5 plus 1 is 6 and 2. So here the addition of these three numbers gives him 262,144. Now finally, we will subtract these two numbers which will give him our final answer. So let's subtract these numbers. So we'll start from the ones position. So here 2 minus 4 is not possible. So we will give 1 10 from this number to 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12 and this will remain 4. So 12 minus 4 is simply 8. Now 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0, comma. 7 minus 2 is 5 9 minus 6 is 3 now 0 minus 2 is not possible so we will give 1 10 from this number to this one so this will become 10 and this will remain 1 now 10 minus 2 is a comma this will 1 so finally this gives him 1 million 835,000 and a so finally 1 million 835,000 and a is our answer and value of this interesting simplification math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching